Oh, hey there guys, and welcome back to my channel. And we are going to be doing another medicated drink sesh. Today we made some medicated eggnog. Nope, that's what we made last time. Today we made some medicated hot chocolate. And um, I think it's like caramel macchiato hot chocolate. I don't know. It was like some sort of Christmas tin that my mom had gotten me and uh, had like a sorted flavored hot chocolates in it. So I just opened one of those packets up, dumped it into a cup of boiling water. You guys saw it all in the, in the little intro thingy, but I thought it would be fun to sit down, drink this medicated hot chocolate, and talk about my record collection with you all. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about my record collection, as uh, some of you do know that I did get a freaking sweet ass record player for Christmas this year. Wow, that is so good. Can't even taste the tincture at all. I put two teaspoons of the Bruce Banner grain alcohol tincture that I had made before, same as I used in the medicated eggnog video. Some of you guys might be wondering what's on my mug too. This is a yoga mug. It's just got all the chakras on it. It's got sun salutations along the bottom. And then the middle of it's just kind of filled with all sorts of different yoga poses. Wow, that's so freaking good. Okay, so let's get started on some of my favorite records, I guess, is the best way that we can do this. And maybe a little bit of history about me and my record collection and that sort of stuff. So, okay, let me pull the second crate over. Um... I guess for starters, I started getting really into records when I was probably a sophomore in high school. Um, I got into records when my brother started uh, listening to records a lot more. He would burn records onto cassettes and then take those cassettes and put, listen to, you know, a little like cassette Walkman when he would go skiing because your cassette player was the least likely to freeze and skip when you would fall. So I really started to get into records, you know, middle of high school. Um, I remember I used to love the Peter Frampton record, Frampton Comes Alive. Oh my god, that was so good. I, yeah, I could, I probably listened to that multiple times a day during the one summer I can remember. But I just remember, like, loving the just kind of, almost like, for me, records, I don't even know how to explain this. Like, for me, records are almost like Pokemon cards, or I don't know, they're just collectible. You know, having that one album that you have on vinyl, it sounds so different than any... CD or cassette tape or mp3 file. There's just something so serene about a record. You guys probably think I'm ridiculous, but Damn that hot chocolate is good um, I don't even know where to begin just as I'm flipping through I will tell you some of the things that I'm finding um, I have all of my Grateful Dead records <laughs> Willie Nelson the doors uh, Pearl Jam more Grateful Dead, Creedence Clearwater Revival, The Band, The Band, The Almond Brothers, a copy of Beatles Abbey Road. Um, and a lot of these records have been gifted to me or passed down to me from family members or, you know, family friends and that sort of things. Things I found at tag sales or thrift stores, um, stuff like that. This was the first record that I ever owned, and this was given to me when I was probably in 7th or 8th grade by a friend um, of mine. She saw it in a store, and she said, hey, this reminded me of you, so I thought you should have it. And I always thought that that was just so ridiculous, and, well, uh, seems to be the theme of things these days. My camera stopped recording, but I think I was just finishing up talking about the first record that was ever given to me. And then um, I'm going to follow that up with a personal, just favorite, George Carlin. I absolutely love this. 
the George Carlin Toledo window box and um, I was gifted this by a very dear friend who's no longer with us and I just hold this so like I wish I could just get me this shirt like oh that's so sick and last thing out of this first box that I'm gonna go through with you guys is gonna be this Goodwill amazing find this is the Muppet Show uh, soundtrack basically so it's got the Muppet Show theme song, the Gypsies violin, the closing theme, We Got Us, For What It's Worth, Pigs in Space, I'm Five, Sea Shanty, like, oh god, I just, I have not had a chance to listen to this yet, so I'm so elated to have a record player to be able to do that with, but, mm. okay, on to the next box. Prince, Purple Rain, can't go wrong, listen to a thousand times, we'll listen to a thousand more, forever and always. And like, let's be real, look at how good that album is, ugh. Ugh, can't get over it, never will get over it. I have Queen, Deltron 3030, hello, what is good? I have... More Queen, The Clash, London Calling, Yellow, oh my gosh, Elton John, Yellow Brick Road, so good. Funeral for a Friend, Love Lies Bleeding, Candle in the Wind, Benny and the Jets, oh my god, it just keeps getting better. It's funny that I have this album, I was literally just talking about Stray Cat Strut the other day. Um, I ran into a kid that I have not seen since, I mean, I went to summer camp with him, I'm pretty sure. And uh, when I was in elementary school, he did a cover of Stray Cat Strut when we were in like fifth or sixth grade for one of the talent shows and it was just fucking badass. Um, let's see, Madonna. I don't know how I ended up with that. I'm gonna assume that's something I got from my brother. Jackson Brown. Oh, this one's such a good record. Foreigner. I just really like the album cover, so it's like almost like a jukebox, and then the album pulls out of there like that. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> Classic right here. Pump up the jam. Do you guys remember this? Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Why? I want place to stay. Get your booty on the floor tonight. Make my day. Sam Cooke is one of my favorite, favorite artists, I have to say. Like... Mr. Soul, damn straight, he really is. Oh my gosh, Scott Joplin, love that ragtime man. So like, I really like the Bee Gees, right? And so like, if you like the Bee Gees, you obviously need to have the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, pretty sure I'm right. My record collection must just be so fire that my camera can't handle it because it keeps overheating for some strange reason. <laughs> But we are basically like an hour into this and I am almost done with my egg. Oh my god, why do I keep wanting to call it eggnog? I just have a few sips of my hot chocolate left. Um, definitely feeling pretty bubbly and kind of nice. I mean, maybe it's just because I'm excited to be sharing my record collection with you guys, but I don't know. Last of the records, then we're going to have a dab to say goodbye. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out and doing this with me. Oh, God. Black Moses, such a good album. Like, Isaac Hayes, the man is a legend. Um, I really hope that you guys might take some time to listen to some of these albums that I have shared with you today. Maybe find some new music that you didn't know that you might even like, you know? Tom Tom Club. Pitbull. The single of Ichiko, come on. But yeah, Tom Tom Club, what you gonna do when you get out of jail? Yeah, basically. Wu-Tang Clan, Protect Your Neck, classic, gotta have it, even comes in the hard plastic sleeve. Return to Forever, featuring Chick Corea. This album is historic, straight up. More Village People, Reggae Hits Volume 30 fucking 3. I also have Reggae Hits Volume 32, complete with Sweet Sensation. Dance with my father. Chat dem a chat. And use your fist. I have some Sha Na Na, because you can't go wrong with no Sha Na Na. 
The Beach Boys, Michael Jackson's Thriller, Cool and the Gang, which is a classic, and I saved my absolute favorite for the very last, which is going to be The Talking Heads, and this album just, it, I mean there's like three Talking Heads album that I absolutely love, um, but this is one of my favorite complete with Making Flippy Floppy, Girlfriend is Better, Slippery People, Burning Down the House, Swamp, Moon Rocks, Pull Up the Roots, and this must be the place. This album must be the place. Like, oh, so good. Anyways, let's have ourselves a dab. I really hope that you guys did enjoy this record, collection, medicated drink sesh. I'm gonna be dabbing on the Sunset Sherbert CBD that I have out of my little baby MJ Arsenal 10 millimeter rig that is also a joint recycler. You know, like the little joint bubbler, it's a little recycler ring thingy. Bye guys, and thanks for enjoying my record collection with me.